finishing up procrastinating for one day. Time to get some work done. So let's crack on and make a start. So on my desktop I've got a folder for issue number 62 and in there I've got a copy of the last magazine renamed to issue number 62 and I open that in InDesign. I can ignore that warning, it'll come good when I plug in my external hard drive later. So now I scroll up to the top to the cover of the old magazine, as you can see this is last issue. Now I can delete the cover image from the last issue which leaves behind the text which I can now edit. So I zoom in and change the issue number to 62 and change the date to June. With the headlines I select and replace with question marks. This preserves the formatting so that I've got a good place to start from when I come to do the next headline. I know this ad will be replaced so I'll go ahead and delete the whole lot. This next ad won't be replaced I think so I'll just leave it there for now. The issue number and date need changing on this page too. All these images are relevant to the last magazine so they're out. And then I zoom in and change any text that doesn't carry over to the next magazine. Another ad I'm sure will get changed as well, so that's deleted. Making sure I delete the hyperlink that's overlaid as well. Again the issue number and date need changing on this page and of course uh, the headline, the photographer and the photo for the cover. The text of my super duper well written editorial gets wiped out now too, making way for another super exciting installment in this issue. Don't miss it. This step is actually important, changing the issue number and date on the footer of this page and I'll use this as a template then to copy and paste onto every other page as the last step of the magazine. From this point forward I'm deleting just about everything I come across including the page number and the footer information but leaving any ads that I think might not change. This leaves me with fresh pages to work on when I come to lay out new stories. Just Soldiers is one of our regular columns, so the design and format stays the same. 
we just swap out the story. And I'm honoured and thrilled to tell you that Daryl Kelly has been supplying us with these stories for 62 issues. Thanks, Daryl. Store is a free editorial opportunity for all our current advertisers but I'm sad to say very few of them actually use it so please guys if you're watching this space is for you Cadet Corner is another underutilized space and it's a real shame because there's so many cadets out there do, doing some fantastic things but you may or may not have noticed that these pages are mostly about Air Force cadets and mostly from South Australia. And that's because down there they have a fantastic PR officer and everybody else seems to be asleep at the wheel. I'm sorry, but that's a sad fact. And that's just about that. Now I've got a blank template ready to be filled in with lots and lots and lots of empty spaces. So I better crack on because this magazine is due out on the 1st of June and it will not be late. So thanks for watching this video and tomorrow I will show you step by step how I fill in some of those blank pages. So see you then.